boys and girls. Today we have Tony. And Tony has his hair up. Why, you ask? You know why. The reason why is because he's done with this. The sides poking out. The top just hanging down over his face. Tony rarely ever gets anything cut off from the top and the sides. He normally comes in for a taper. He likes the C cups, right? But lately, he has been going for the high tapers. So not only am I going to give Tony a high taper, no C cup, we're also gonna be chopping away. So, okay, now we have sectioned the hair. Horseshoe style, baby. And quickly after doing all that shenanigans, we're gonna grab our shears. I'm pretty sure all of us can agree that Tony has very thick hair. So using this pink comb with the wide teeth, it's a better selection than the other one. Curls can be a little tricky to me. I don't like oversaturating the hair to the point where I'm stretching and forgetting that curly hair naturally hangs a certain way, unlike straight hair that stays straight pretty much the whole way through. Curly hair coils up, right? So if you are basing your cut off stretching the hair versus how it naturally lays, that can confuse you to think that you're taking less length than you really are. In all reality, you've taken out like twice the amount or three times the amount if you're just basing it off stretching the hair while it's wet. Don't do it. Let's help Tony out. Now, since the sides have been cut, I'm going to do the top, but before I do the top, I want to go ahead and just wet it one more time. I feel like his hair was drying up pretty fast, but not too much. Remember what I said already about curly hair and wet wetness. A lot of water doesn't go well for me. As I'm working on this other side, I was thinking to myself, what is it about Tony's haircut that I find the most challenging? And I would say that that front hairline and how it's a little bit light on the corners, that area to me is a little bit challenging because you have to use the overhanging hair as a fake hairline, you know, and I don't mean to use that. I use that word loosely. I'm not trying to say Tony's is fake out here. I'm just saying that the, the hairline could be you know we got to get cosmetic with the hairline that's pretty much is what i'm saying the beauty about having length guys especially if you are you know going bald on your corners use the length to your advantage to all the fellas and all the ladies that you know got similar struggles tone's not alone i go through it myself don't be afraid to grow out your hair when i first met tone he had waves he was rocking with waves 
and shortly after that he grew it out and it's a lower maintenance haircut he enjoys it it's fly it's it frames his face really well and don't forget we got to get to the beard too you know that's going to be a whole another service in itself speaking about services i got some new stuff coming on the way but we got to go through some of these old videos that i've recorded in the past before we get to this new season i'm excited to show y'all it's been looking nice in the shop the station is starting to look a hundred percent better i'm excited but you know we we got like four or five videos before we get to that point Stay tuned though. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fresh the trimmers and start lining up the side of the beard just to frame it up a little bit as we continue on this back taper sometimes i do some some you know little details ahead of time that's me being selfish i'm pretty sure there's some of you out there that cut hair that have those selfish moments too where you kind of get ahead of yourself i don't really recommend doing that i recommend just continuing the fading process before you start lining anything up because you kind of get a little bit too tied up to that highly recommend not doing that so i had a, a debate in the shop recently where the barbers one barber thought that the seniors were trash and you know i don't really i'm not sponsored by any company but i do believe that out of all the clippers the seniors is probably the seniors and the magic clips probably top clippers that haven't really broken gone wrong on me i'm really big into clippers that can you know where the lever can stay tight the whole time or most of the time and I feel normally where the clippers that come with that clicking lever system, which I actually like that system, those clipper levers eventually loosen up too early. Why is that even a problem right now? Why is that an issue? And then second to that would be like battery life, but I don't care about battery life as much as I care about that freaking lever staying tight. I feel like with the seniors, the lever has never been an issue for me. Uh, unless it's that little lever with the ball at the end. I just think that's an uncomfortable lever. No reason to have that lever, but I get it. You just want it to aesthetically look pleasing to us. But, wow, well, there was no reason to have the bump on the lever. Nobody likes that. If you like that, put it on the comments section. I highly doubt there's anybody out there that likes the bump on the lever. Just saying. <laughs> listen up i'm gonna need y'all to look out for all your tonys out there and uh you know see if they have a little bit of overgrown nose hairs that match in the, into the mustache i mean i don't know about y'all i don't do any of the waxing but i have considered it even if it's not something that i would consider adding to my services i should at least try it we didn't do it in barber school some of my clients will be down for it should i make a video where i i go ahead and go for it or should i just leave it at using trimmers and uh you know not take it that far i think it's worth a try i think it's worth a try now as you can see tony you have a widow's peak so i'm gonna start off with the widow's peak and taking it up just enough to meet up on what we have to do on the sides and remember i'm using pretty much overhanging hair to create a full lineup and i do want to mention this this section he already had this is something that that came along with you know the prior haircut of the waves and everything i was going to take it to where like somebody else did that but i think i am guilty of creating that section but then again he doesn't like the widow's peak and then to get a good lineup you do need to push it back but i wonder if i'm the originator of that section i don't think so tony if you ever watch this video let me know in the comment section because i don't know what <laughs>
we're getting near the end boys and girls i'm finishing off with the 245 shave gel right before i come back with the razor you don't want to irritate the skin remember that and uh, when it comes to that widow's peak guys i actually like using the shaver to my advantage and getting that area nice and low right before i come back with the razor if i do need the razor at that point so you know just a quick tip on making those tools work best for you now we have made it to the end tone tony you put me to work on this one bro <laughs>